all over the print. I just want to let this rest another couple seconds. You all see how that's turning out? What's, what's that little block over there? Is that a piece of the tape that's coming up a little? Or? What block? Yeah, that's a piece of tape coming up. Remember we talked about, we talked about uh, this plate's been used before, it's been cleaned. And eventually the solvents will get under the tape and compromise the glue, particularly where they have little points and whatnot. But I'm going to let that go. Let's we'll just see what happens. It was on the other one too, and it didn't seem to have a big negative effect. We still need to bounce this a little more. Robert has just penciled in guidelines so that he knows where to place. You know, in his case, he's uh, these are centering this, aren't you? Yeah. But you know, you, you wouldn't have to. The last plate was a little bit bigger. That's why you see those lines. Now, there's a, there's a chance that some of these lines may come off on the on the print, but it's just an experiment for today. So, these plates are coming up. I like to use paper that's a little wetter than most printmakers would recommend. I just feel more comfortable about it. I think it ain't tastes better. actually run it through once and come back and back it up and run it through again. <coughs> See, we did have some leakage. Okay. Are you ready? Now we're going to run a ghost. Which means ghost? I'm not going to ink this plate again. I'm just going to, I'm just going to run another piece. Of Sometimes they're very interesting. And like the other ghosts that we ran for the first demo, wasn't that great? But I, I can go back that. into the ghost and, and draw on it. I can cut it up and collage it up and use it someplace Thanks. else. Thanks. No problem. That's cool. Mm -hmm. 
I should. Yeah. Although I can't be, I can't be the first person to do this. Well, that's us. Here's any questions.